Hi, this is DH Dunn, and welcome back to Stranded Deep. Let's see, day 18 with Drew. And if I remember right, he's very hungry. So we should address that probably right away. And uh, I have a few thoughts of some, some uh, shenanigans we can get into today. Oh, hungry and thirsty. Tremendously so. Um, let's get the kindling, because I think we already have... Oh, that's right, we got rid of our fire... How much inventory does he have? A lot, but we have enough to make a... That's right, we were going to try to make... Um, hang on, my sound just went crazy here. We were going to try to make uh, the fire in a better place. There we go. So let's go here to campfire. I would like this to be somewhere nice and flat. I don't know that that's flat, but whatever. Uh, and then we're going to make the fire pit. Okay. And then uh, can we also make the spit? No, we need lashing. Can we make lashing? No. Okay, then we're just going to get this fire going. Then we will address some of these other concerns. And I probably just a whole Drew maintenance episode here. We're going to get some progress made. Okay, we can drop that there. Little beachside uh, shindig. Okay, let's get this meat cooking. All right, and then let's see. You don't have to carry the other meat around, Drew. We need one more lashing while that's cooking, and we definitely need water. Where's our little water system over here? Let's get some water. It's weird. There's no music. Oh, there's no water. What the hell? Bastards. Stole my water. Uh, yes, Drew. I'm on it, buddy. Give me a second here. The no music is freaking me out. Uh, but it's better than that super intense music. That, that really freaks me out. That music. Uh, no, this is okay. This music's okay. Have we drained this island of uh, coconuts? Because that would be really bad. I mean, seriously, I'm not seeing anything. Unless it's, oh, wait, I see one. Okay. Well, I think there might be two. That's a bat. Can I get my knife out up here? Where is my knife? Is he holding it? Okay, well, that bat left anyway. If the knife broke... You're going to see a pretty cranky DH done here, but nope, that didn't happen. Okay. So, drop it. Chase after it, because, you know, gravity. Okay. Grab it. There we go. Say it with me. Grab it. Drink it. Drop it. Cool. A little better. While we're waiting for that meat, that meat's going to uh, completely solve our problems once we get that going. The question is, can we get another coconut? And then what about the next coconut and the next coconut? What we need is a nice water delivery, like a truck or a ship that would drop off some water. What the hell? Oh, I'm telling you, this is coconut. I'll give you my, my usual DH done banter here in a few minutes. I'm just trying to solve uh, solve Drew's uh, major malfunctions as quickly as I can. Do we have the knife out? Because I at least want to grab this uh, uh, palm tree, get the fibrous leaves. There we go. Make the lashing. Okay, now we can at least get the uh, spit up so that we can cook two things at the same time. He'll start complaining about thirst again in a minute, but, you know, one thing at a time. Or two things at a time. Turn this off. Why are we wasting this battery? I'm not even sure this has a battery. I think this might just be infinite. Because I don't see any indication of a battery. I'm just going to leave it going. So we're over here. Let's... Uh, let's click the right buttons. Make the spit. Okay, I, I, I'm kind of bananas now about what is the deal with the spit why won't the spit work we had it working before maybe it won't work while the while it's in use i suppose that's possible 
Oh, boot done. Ding. All right, fine. We'll take this meat and we'll put on that meat. Okay, and then we'll eat this meat. Not the not the rope, man. I'm not that hungry. All right, there we go. Much better, much better, much better. We're already in water problems again. So, but I think I see a coconut. It's amazing how good you get at detecting the faintest hint of a coconut outline. How good do I get at this? Pretty good. Well, I think there's a second one up there. Yup. There we go. This is enough. I think this plus the, um, uh, the other crab meat should be enough to send you off to bed. And then we will get into our, um, our house, house adventures for today. So I've decided, uh, that I want to just build the house here, not even go back to the other island. We'll go over there eventually. But let's just, let's just start over here. Okay, pick that up. And now well, your obsession with this lashing is kind of annoying, Drew. All right, should be better. Not great, but better. Oh, a little, a little text message. Just a moment while I check that. I don't think I want this uh, white noise machine on after all. thought I did. I don't. I do want my heat on though. And I gotta check my phone. Just gripping streaming activity here. Oh good. The power company with an update. Thanks very much. Okay. Back at it. I will we're back. I will probably edit that out. Okay, so we're mostly just waiting around for this. And I do think this beach area is probably where we're going to put the house, a little beachfront property. Beachfront bargain hunt is the joke I made online. Hilarious joke. Like most of my jokes. Well-crafted humor. Never quickly constructed low-hanging fruit humor. Now this is that uh, erudite type of stuff. Sophisticated only. All right. It is kind of weird how quiet the game is. I guess maybe because it's nighttime. I don't know. I have not seen any coconuts, and that is making me quite nervous. There's the moon. Now, it would be great if it rained. Seems like it never rains at night, though. Seems like it only rains during the day. I don't know if that's a Pacifica thing. Or a... It's not a Pacific thing. I've been in the Pacific. I can tell you that's not true. I can tell you that for free right now. I don't mind telling you. <laughs> Just film the dead air waiting for this freaking meat to get done. Oh, good. Very good uh, productive writing day. I've had several productive writing days in a row. Uh, excellent progress on Shades of the Sea. Who knows? You might be listening to this long after Shades of the Sea is, is released. You, you don't know. You don't know when people are listening to this, what's happening, what kind of historical record this might turn out to be. So, yeah, uh, good stuff. And it's funny, as we're playing Drew, I'm thinking a bit about Drew and how I don't actually know when I'm going to be writing Drew again. Like, I know I will be. I absolutely intend to continue the Everest series. But I'm not 100% sure at what point this year that's happening. Uh, my calendar has been somewhat uh, fluxed, <laughs> thrown uh, a bit uh, into a... Uh, there we go. I never heard a ding on that. Thrown into a bit of a, a disruption just by some, some plans going differently than I thought, some, some stories being received in, in, in some cases, particularly in the case of blood packets, being received more strongly than I thought. And uh, making me think about uh, changing some of my plans. I saw something go whipping by. So that, that's probably just a shadow. Okay, let's sleep. Go to sleep, Drew. Off he goes. And we're back. 
And he's thirsty. I see a pig. These pigs are hard, though, man. They run. Like jerks. Okay, so, yeah, yeah. Okay, we're actually decent. I wouldn't mind uh, making aloe vera again as well. But the problem is, is you need to burn a coconut for that. And they're so precious as a resource right now. I mean, we could go to another island and get plenty of coconuts. But, you know, that's a, that's a non-trivial... Uh, expedition. I'd really like to stay here on, uh, you know, Drewtopia and uh, work on work on our house. I am joking, but sure, that's the name, Drewtopia. Uh, last time uh, I was naming things after um, mountains, you know, to be appropriate, Everest, Lhotse, K2, Annapurna, etc., um, and you know, we'll do it diff different this time. I don't know what we'd name other islands, but this is, this is the new Drew home island. I think this is going to stick. So, uh, we'll call it Drewtopia. I did look to see how many days, or how, excuse me, how many parts it's been since Drew died. And that was 10 parts ago. So, um, Drew has officially been in this version of himself longer than the previous one so uh hooray for that now i'm a little concerned because i think i might be carrying around the last three. Oh, he slept with the fire on too i think i might be carrying around the last three um coconuts on the island if there are okay no i see two more right there it might be good to just kind of take an inventory account here and uh, get an understanding for uh, how many we have. I wonder if you can get up there. Um, before we run out. So that we're not just suddenly out of coconuts. So I'm going to drop all coconuts here. So there's five coconuts that we know we have available. And just doing a visual pass, I can see two more. So basically, we're gonna try to clean the island out so that we know what we've got. This will also help me understand if new coconuts show up and at what rate. Now, I am remembering one of our plans was to also get the uh, bird trap up online. That shouldn't be too hard. So as soon as I do my coconut pass, we're going to do that. And then uh, we'll start on house plans. I am certainly going to use at least one of these coconuts for water. Or liquid thirst uh, refreshment. Because, you know, Drew loves coconuts. It's, it's absolutely his favorite thing in the world. Nothing he cares about more than coconuts. Okay, there's three more coconuts for our collection. And uh, there's some more. Okay, we were in better shape than I thought. The question is, do we really want to burn one on aloe vera? He's doing okay. Uh, is that it? I think, uh, I think that's it. All right, so we'll drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that, drop that. 10, 10 coconuts, ah, uh, ah, uh, uh. Okay, so when I was a kid, man, the count was my favorite on Sesame Street. The Count and Bert. I was really into Bert because Bert was unusual. And I identified with that and I still do. And what was cool about Bert was that um, like he was weird and nobody cared. He still had friends. Everybody still liked him. It, you know, it was cool. It was a good aspirational thing for a young odd kid like myself. You know, it's good, it's good to get those messages that, you know, your tribe is out there, if you can find them. And in a lot of cases, the odder you are, the nicer your tribe is going to be. Now, I feel like 
this should be a safe place for hiding from the sun. Is there anything in this? There's a flare gun in that. I kind of forgot about that. Somewhere on this stupid island is rations, and I never found them. So that's worth remembering as well. Hey, a stray coconut. Okay, so now that we have that done, no water, right? Of course not. Why the hell would there be water in the water collector? What was I thinking? Okay, I want to see if we can make the pit when the fire isn't lit. If the fire isn't lit, you must have quit. And make the spit. It's the spit. It's not the pit. Yes, that was the problem. All right, so we've got the spit up. So now we can cook two uh, meats at the same time. What a breakthrough in technology that is. Okay, the bird uh, bird trap. Bird snare requires a rock, three lashing, two sticks. Okay, they, this all seems very achievable. Uh, let's go. Uh, we've got the rocks. We have, I think, two lashing now. Is that another coconut? Oh, it's empty. I wish there was anything you could do with the empty coconuts. Is that a coconut back there? This is how crazy Drew is for coconuts now. He just, like, he sees them even when they're not there. If there was another person on the island, Drew would probably imagine their head was a coconut. Okay, I think we can make one lashing now. Uh, as soon as I remember how to play a game I've been playing for a solid month now, I would remember that, no, I need one more. And there it is. Okay, I want to pin this uh, recipe here. This, uh, yeah, it's a recipe, I think. Give that an X. Hey, I said give it an X. Oh, that's inspect. See, I can't read. It does hold me back at times. It's not easy to be a writer when you can't read, but, uh, you know, maybe if you've read my books, you might go, oh, wait, no, I get it. <laughs> I actually like my books. I think they're great. Um, they do. I recognize that they have pluses and minuses like all books, but I like their pluses quite a bit. And I try to work on those minuses. Every book, I try to have those minuses be better than in previous books. I'll give you an example. Uh, action scenes uh, is something that I have challenge writing, which is why I chose to write fantasy and adventure, because I'm an idiot. And um, But I feel like if you look at the action scenes in my, in my early books, which they're good, mostly thanks to assistance from my editor. But in the later books, uh, I particularly... If you look at uh, Thorn to the Serpent and um, uh, Within the Hollow, I feel like those those action scenes are quite solid. I was quite happy with them. And um, I think they are definitely an improvement over earlier action scenes. That's all you can hope for is, can I do it better than the last time? You're never going to be perfect. That's impossible. All right, let's kill this pine tree. I have become death destroyer of small pine trees. It turned into one stick. Now, if I never took that thing down, does it ever become a big pine tree? Because this small pine tree is definitely bigger than the other pine tree that also had this descriptor of being small, and it produced more sticks. Twice as many, in fact, in the amount of two. All right, so let's throw our bird trap. Oh, I mean, it would make sense to put it in a place where we see birds, right? It worked last time. Like, it worked really well. So do we see birds? I see a bird. I'm sure as hell not putting it up there. I don't even know how to get up there. How are we looking? And we're going to have to eat something here before too long. And, you know, aside from that pig, I'm not seeing a ton of uh, edibles. I don't even see the pig now. Hey, there's a good source of uh, sticks, though. Now that I know how that works. I can tell you that for free. <laughs> I don't know why I'm saying that. Yeah, woodpile. I am, as, as has been true for a couple nights now, in a weird mood. 
I have not slept well for a couple nights, and I realized this morning it was because I have the wrong pillow. And uh, I'm very excited because now I have corrected that, and now I have the right pillow. And I think I'm going to sleep much better. I might even get six hours, which would be basically the most sleep I ever get would be six hours. I Generally, if I get four to five, I feel fine. I feel very fortunate uh, to have that uh, skill. Skill? No, it is not a skill. It's a trait. I, I dumped a bunch of uh, points in that trait. I took away from strength, added it to uh, sleep. Sleep hardiness. Strength is a dump stat. You don't really need strength. It's not that useful. Okay, let's see. Uh, enough comedy jokes. We are going to build our... You know what? I'm going to build it here. And if it doesn't work, we'll just take it down. But this feels like... This feels like a good spot. So let's go here. And... Right there. Place. Okay, we'll see if that ends up working. Okay, now. Oh, of course, this stupid bird comes over here now, jerk. Hey, a rock. I like rocks. Okay, so, hey, more coconuts. Now, I don't think these were here. Coconuts grow on their own. That is awesome. Fantastic. Oh, I'm, I'm so happy. We're in, we're in replenishment phase here. Reinforcement phase. So, and it would be hard to explain what, what leads me to this, but here comes the sea story. Um, I'm going to make some, uh, not the rock, pick the rock up. You would think that Navy got play a lot of cards, and you would be correct. And you would think, oh, I bet you guys play a lot of poker. And you would be wrong. Uh, near as I can tell, everywhere I was ever stationed, and admittedly, this information is several uh, uh, decades uh, out of date at this point. But when I was in the Navy, spades was the big game. And um, I was terrible at it. Because I'm very bad at games where you have to do uh, books. Any kind of bid, if, oh, I can make two books, I can make four books. I was a terrible spades partner, nobody wanted me. But the other game we used to play a lot, cards-wise, was War. We particularly played this in when I was stationed in Maine. I was stationed at a uh, facility in Maine where uh, basically it was an incredibly powerful transmitter. And we mostly just waited, made sure it didn't break. And when it wasn't breaking, there wasn't necessarily... A lot to do. Okay, he's super heated up. I need to get him out of the uh, out of the heat here. Let's head back to the little shelter. Um, whoops. So anyway, the other card game that we would play to pass the time was War. And War is an incredibly boring, dumb card game unless you implement one interesting rule. The interesting rule we used to implement in War is that you could cheat. Cheating was allowed as long as you didn't get caught. And so it became a game within the game of how, how well can you disguise your cheating? How well can you draw from the bottom of the deck? How well can you put a card off to the side? It was actually quite fun. The other game that we used to play a ton of was Risk. And early on, it was the same five of us on the same shift. So we would just play Risk over and over and over again. And... Um, I'm just I'm just doing this while I'm waiting for his uh, his SPF to go up here. So uh, early on, it becomes about learning to be good at risk. And oh, you know, you go from South America, or you go from Australia. Those are generally strong risk strategies. You know, you focus on matching uh, matching sets and try to get into a situation where you match you match a set. You use those matches to take a player out. You get his cards. You match again use those armies to take another guy out, you match again, and you just kind of cycle like that. In fact, we used to say to each other, you know, when someone was in a vulnerable position, we used to say, hey, you know, you're kind of, you're looking like a risk card there, Bob. But after we all had achieved a certain skill level, four of us were good and one of us was not. And so there was a game within the game where the other four of us 
were focused on manipulating the one guy who wasn't that good into doing what we wanted him to do. And, you know, well, I'll, I'll back you up. Go ahead and attack. Attack Brazil. I got your back. And so there's this, like, fun game within a game, which I really enjoyed. So I feel like uh, our SPF should continue to go up here now. And uh, while we are waiting for the storm to go away, I'm not 100%... I don't think the storm keeps the uh, um, fire from lighting, but anyway, I want to get started on the house. So, let's go to um, here. And our foundations. So, oh, we have a hammer. Oh my god, they won't even let you look at it without a hammer. We won't even discuss these plans with you without a hammer, pal. So you better go get your hammer. Then, you know, we'll talk about what we can do and what we can't do. Fine. I'm getting the hammer. Think it's over here? There it is. Give me the hammer. There we go. Okay. Now can we look at this? Okay, so we need four sticks to make a foundation. That seems super easy, no, uh, super fine, no problem. Definitely making a bigger house than last time. Let's start right here. Wood foundation. Shazam. Go. Hammer it in. Alright. It's funny to me. I just realized this. I do not play games the way I write books. Uh, I am an outliner, and I outline... A, oh, an, an extra knife. I think I uh, dropped that at some point, possibly right now. Yes. <laughs> um, I outline my books heavily. And it doesn't mean I don't deviate from my outline once I'm writing. I do, but I do a lot of outlining. I do a lot of pre-work. I spend a lot of thought on how I want things set up. And... Um, when I play games, I'm just like, hey, let's try this. <laughs> let's do this. I don't pre-think at all, <laughs> really. Uh, we, when my boys used to live uh, with us before they grew up and became men, before they went from boys to men, um, they, uh, there's no joke that's so stupid I won't make it. There really isn't. Uh, these aren't even jokes either. Uh, anyway, we used to play a ton of board games, and both my boys are very good at thinking several turns ahead. And that's just not how my brain works, uh, except when I'm writing, I tend to just, oh, I will react well to whatever situation is happening. And I think I do react well, but if, um, if it requires a lot of pre-planning, then no. And actually, if you're watching uh, Darkest Dungeon right now, you can see that weakness hitting me. As I've reached a difficulty level or simply making good tactical decisions is not enough. You must pre-plan what you're going to do. You have to think about the dungeon before you even go in it. And that's, that's hitting a weak spot for me. Oh, the view is going to be great when we get this done. Okay, how many sticks do we have? It looks like we have four. Uh, wood foundation. Can we make another one? Yeah. Place it. Make a nice... Nice square here. You're just going to have a big house. Uh, we're going to escape on the plane, absolutely. But, you know, hey, you want to you escape, but you want to live in some comfort while you're doing it. Okay, sticks. Stick count. Zero. Okay, switch to axe. I'm so excited about all the um, water I am surely acquiring from this storm. We need four sticks. That's two. Give me another tree. This is probably going to be one stick. Yup. This has been a weird episode. <laughs> I don't mind telling you. Some of these episodes have their storyline, their narrative in it. Like, oh, I'm going to do this and I'm going to do this. This has been just like, well, I think I'll just babble for two hours while I kind of construct things. What time is it? 
1800. Geez, the moon's already up. Try to put some walls up after bed. Question is, do we have to eat? It feels like we do. And yet, uh, it's not very uh, bright out here. Come on, Dave, you know how to do this. Get over, get over. No, there you go. Wood foundation. Nice and square. Keep waiting for this hammer to break. You know that's coming. Now, last time his house was up on like a platform, but for the most part, this one is not. Look at this. Whee! All right. See if we can get some water. Looks good. Okay. I say we send him to bed. Without supper. Let's take Mjolnir over here. And uh, let's drop a save. I think we'll try to go one more day here. These episodes, I don't know, I feel like 45 minutes is kind of the sweet spot. Day 20, according to, uh, is this truly day 20? What does the watch say? I actually can't bring the watch up. He won't, he won't look at his watch. Drew. Actually, for, I, for, there it is. I legit forgot what button to hit for the watch. Yes, he's starving. That's not what we wanted to know. Day survived 20. Okay. All right, Drew. Let's eat a bird. Nope, not eating a bird. Okay. Well, we're going to have to find some food. And is he thirsty as well? Probably. Yeah, but he's legit straight up starving. He has no food in the belly. So I think w that is the problem we are solving. Hey, I see you, crab. Now we're gonna have to drop something. Okay, so I'm gonna drop that coconut and uh, drink it right now. Then I'll get that crab. Hey, the coconuts float. That's kind of cool. I'm easily impressed. Drop it in the water. I want to watch it float away. Yeah. All right. Now, hey, this crab is like, yeah, I want to die. Yup, you do. Oh, whoops. Hey. What? <laughs> no. What is happening? <laughs> That's a crab. I'd like to get two crabs. Can we go back to our spear, please? Let's get two crabs. That way, when we get the fire going, we can cook two of them at the same time. There we go. There we go. There we go. Oh, yep. Oh, yep. There we go. Okay. Nice. Okay. I'm sure it's like he's already burning up or something. No, not yet. That's good. Look at that house. It's amazing. Absolutely amazing. Let's get the knife out, drop the crabs. Okay, and let's uh, skin the crabs. Oh, it's disgusting. <laughs> Drew, man up, buddy. Come on. Is it really disgusting after all these times? And I suppose you could say at a meta level, Dave, man up, buddy. Do you need to comment on that every time it happens? How long have you been playing this game? You know he's going to say it. You're going to make your that's the only voice line joke as well? I think I just did. Attach. Now why, can, why can't you attach more than one meat to that? Come on. Okay, but at least they're both cooking. All right. And uh, water is okay. So while we're waiting... Let's try to get at least one wall up. So, axe to out. I think walls are just four, four sticks as well. Surely we won't deforest our island. That won't, uh, that won't be a problem. I can tell you that right now. 
for free. It's interesting that pine trees are here. I wonder if pine trees really are on tropical uh, desert islands. It's not what I would think would be there. I'm obviously no expert. Let's make a wall. Let's make a wall with a window. Uh, farming, vehicles, there we go. Window wall. Oh, it only takes three, even better. Oh, and you can do a plank window also, or a corrugated window. What's the advantage of doing one over the other? Well, you're not using sticks for it, for one thing. Now, of course, we might need, I'm doing it, man. I don't care. Think ahead. That's for other people. I'm making this corrugated window. Oh, food's done. Now they're both done. Not enough from an inventory. Very well. What are we going to drop? A uh, stick. Okay. Can we take this now? And eat it. Right. And take that one. And eat it. And, you know, not great, to be honest. But uh, close enough for government work, as we used to say when I was doing the government work. So, yeah, so there you go. How about a corrugated window? Tink, tink. Now, look at how little the hammer actually moves that forward. I'm waiting for the hammer to break before this window is done. It's definitely a better looking window than we had last time though. Tink, 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 tink. Ooh, it's leveling them up in physical too. Nice, look at that. What a view, gorgeous. Okay, do we have another corrugated? I think we do. Oh yeah, look at all this corrugated we got. We got so much corrugated. Take that. All right, I think we're gonna put this window up and we're gonna call this an episode. Wham. See if the hammer survives this construction process. And, you know, I think we're supposed to be building rafts and things to bring supplies to the aircraft carrier. And, you know, yeah, but I mean, I want to do everything. So they didn't give us house stuff to not make the house. Woohoo! Look at this. The other nice thing is that the house becomes a landmark that we can. Oh, uh, yeah, I, I let my campfire die. Um, it becomes a landmark, makes it easier for us to find our home island. All right. Any water in here? It's weighed down, but no, no water. Okay, uh, I think that's going to do it. I'm going to head over to the uh, saving spot right here. We'll drop a save. And boy, that time flew by. That was a lot of fun. We will work more on Casa de Adley uh, in our next episode. So, Oh, and there's a bird there too. So we'll remember that. All right, so thanks very much for watching. Uh, take care of each other, stay safe, and Drew and I will see you next time.